So now that we have this document nicely formatted and all the figures and tables numbered, let us now move ahead and try to put in a cover page, a table of contents, and a table of figures, and a table of table. These are commonly seen items on many reports, so let's try to do that. So what I'm going to do is I will come here onto my very first character. You can also start by leaving two, three pages vacant in the beginning, which is a very good idea. But because I did not start with that, I'm going to just simply come to the start of this particular line very carefully come here and click such that the cursor starts blinking here then press enter as you press enter this line also gets heading one which is something that we don't want this is just a line that we introduced so we will just come here and clear the formatting so now that we have a blank line we can just simply press enter and create three pages one of these pages i'm going to use for uh, my cover page uh, the next page I will use for the table of con contents and the third page I want to use for a table of figures and a table of table. So we have created three blank pages. Let us insert our uh, cover pages from here. So I have already created a cover page which I have saved as an image. You can do that from Canva or Spark. So I'll just go to insert and click on image and then just pick up my cover. Next, I am going to create a table of contents. So the way you create table of contents, go to references and then go to table of contents. And here you see table of contents. Type is table of contents. So we leave it like that and all you have to do is just press OK. So you have your table of contents here. Next, we want to insert a table of figures. So you can go to references, press table of contents again. But instead of doing table of contents in the type field, you have to just choose the drop down and then go to table of figures and then just press OK. So all the figures that you have here will be inserted here. And then you can also have a table of tables. So we will just go here and press table of contents again. And this time around, we'll choose index of table. So the moment you do that and press OK, you have a table of tables. We have two tables, four figures and so on and so forth. So we have successfully inserted our three pages. Um, it might have added a few more, so no problem. We'll just simply go ahead and make sure that we, the first page is the cover page, the second page is the table of contents, and the third page is table of figures and table of tables. And maybe there are other pages also, so we need to delete those pages. Sometimes these things happen, they are unavoidable. So you can just go down and just remove this and make sure that everything is in a nice continuum. Now we have uh, done this and the only thing remaining in this document is to have differential page numbers. Many times the first three page numbers or first four page numbers before your actual chapter starts have to be given in Roman rather than and the actual page numbering should start from here. So one of the ways in which I have been able to make this work in LibreOffice Writer 7 is by the following procedure. So what I do and how I make this working is just simply come here and then go to, go to insert and put in a page break. Let me show this again. The way I have made it work is as follows. I come to the page just above my chapter one page from where I want the page numbers to start from one. So just click here and this happens to be my index of tables page and then just go to insert and do a page break. So what happens here is that you know you see a, a dotted blue line after page three. If you go before page three there is no dotted line in between and there is no dotted line in between. So in many ways this document has actually been divided into two parts one before this and one after this you will notice that there is no dotted line after these pages as well so now what we are going to do after having done this is to go to insert and click on title page and we will just simply convert existing pages to title pages number of pages to convert we will do three because we have three pages that are different from our chapters, the first three pages. 
and then we'll come here and say reset page numbering after title pages and I will say that you should start renumbering after title pages from one and that's all we have to do so we will just come here and click OK so what happens is that you will immediately see that there is no numbering now here but when you come down to this section you will start seeing that numbering has started from started from page number one then two three four five and so on and so forth right up to the end now for inserting roman numbers we don't want any numbering on the cover page so that's perfectly fine so we'll come on the second page and click on the footer uh, and then just click on this plus sign and then go to the drop down and insert a page number and then just simply come to home and maybe center it then double click on this number to reveal numbering types in this case we want roman so we will click on roman and press ok so when we have done that um, we have no number on the first page then we have a roman 2 on the second page and a roman 3 on the third page from here where we start our chapters we have normal numbering 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and so forth so this is how you can actually differentially paginate a report with the first three pages in different format of page numbers and subsequently different format of page numbers of course we can also do more complicated page numbering but then these are some of the common things that uh, are required but it is important that you have to follow the exact procedure that I have shown in this uh, video now once you are done um, your report is ready so you can just come to file and then just go and have print uh, one of the things that you can actually do is is to go for uh, view and then go to print preview and then you can just simply come ahead and choose multiple pages and say I want to see four pages or six pages together. So this gives you a very quick idea as to how your uh, pages are uh, outlined. Um, but then it, it reveals many uh, you know, subtle things like there's a big gap here. So this is a good thing to do before you actually print. And then you can just simply go and press print to print on paper. Otherwise, you can just simply come to file and export as a PDF. You can also export as EPUB. So this is how you can create a fantastic looking report. These are the important skills that you have to learn to ensure that uh, you can create nicely formatted reports. Thanks for watching.